What's up, guys? Bang, bang. It is lunch money time while Wall Street is trying to get rich. The rest of us trying to get in our lunch vests. money right. In your vest. You're like a Wall Street pro. Don't forget that lunch money is now sponsored by BlockFi. BlockFi has three products you can buy and sell crypto on their crypto exchange. You can deposit crypto and take out a US dollar loan against your crypto collateral, or you can earn up to 8.6% APY in an interest bearing account. BlockFi.com slash pomp. BlockFi.com slash pomp. Go sign up. BlockFi.com slash pomp. What's up? Hey. I know my hair's a little crazy today. Yeah, All right. Real crazy, like a little bird's nest. Go ahead. Uh, okay. U.S. consumer prices increased solidly in February as the cost of gasoline rose further, leading to the biggest annual gain in a year, but underlying inflation remained tepid amid sluggish demand for services like airline travel. What do we think? You can't say that inflation doesn't go up if the prices of things are going up. What is going on here? Literally, the Labor Department said on Wednesday, its Consumer Price Index, CPI, the official metric, increased 0.4% last month. In one month, it went up 0.4%. And the month before that, it went up 0.3%. In the 12 months through February, the CPI gained 1.7%, the largest rise since February 2020, after climbing 1.4% in the month, 12 months through January. So, my fellow friends. All right, come on, don't do the voice. Inflation is happening. It may not be 20% inflation, but you can't say there's no inflation. Prices are slowly creeping up and we're about to print another $1.9 trillion. So maybe the Bitcoiners are right. Go ahead. Okay. Um, okay. So just weeks after JP Morgan Chase published a report warning that traditional financial companies are at risk of falling behind in digital finance, JP Morgan Chase is looking to issue debt linked to cryptocurrency focused companies. So it created the JP Morgan cryptocurrency exposure basket, the incoming debt instrument is long on MicroStrategy, Square, Riot Blockchain, and Chipmaker, Chipmaker NVIDIA. NVIDIA? This is what I call a cop-out. JP Morgan, you think this stuff's real? Then get in the game. Get in the game. You think this stuff is just a marketing head. exercise? Then you do things like this. You create a basket of companies. Some of them have lots to do, like MicroStrategy. Some of them have nothing to do with it. NVIDIA, Majority of their business has nothing to do with crypto. Well. No, majority of your business has nothing to do with crypto. So, here's the deal. If you believe, then believe and do actual things. Go buy Bitcoin, go facilitate trading, lending, deposits, etc. If you don't believe, you do stuff like this because you basically want, oh look, look at this great thing. They have exposure. I think I think it's a step in the right direction. It's it's they're gonna move slowly, but aren't you happy that they're moving in that direction? Sure, but I don't celebrate baby steps. I celebrate big boy steps. Leaps. So let's go, JP Morgan. It looks like Jamie Dimon changed his mind, too. Go ahead. Roblox, it's, uh, it goes public today. Um, and it turned, so the, uh, there is a story about how the indie game makers turned the company into a $30 billion behemoth. Bang, bang. Roblox almost tripled payouts to developers last year while revenue didn't quite double as the company aims to get top creators to spend more of their time building for the app. So Roblox is really cool because it's popular with kids, teenagers, whatever, but you can actually become a, a developer on the app and create games and make money from it. Listen, this is a massive business that snuck up on a lot of it people. It snuck up, but if you are a parent and you have kids, you know about Roblox. Facts. It's gonna only continue to. I think this is a great business. We'll see how it does in the public markets, but gaming ain't going nowhere. Go ahead, next. Jack Dorsey, um, who announced on Tuesday that bidding on the first tweet ever uh, sent that will end on March 21st, and he will accept the winning bid, donating the proceeds to charity. He's donating it to um, um, uh, the COVID-19 Africa response campaign and the program is just under $5 million short of its goal. So it's, it's give directly a nonprofit organization that specializes in giving direct cash transfers to low income people. 
He gonna convert it to Bitcoin, Bitcoin, and then he's gonna send it. I love Wait, it, great, because he says it in the original tweet. Oh, he's gonna convert it to. Well, immediately oh. convert proceeds to Bitcoin. That's awesome. And then he's gonna send it. So let's roll, Jack. Always leading the charge. Dubai Airport. So Dubai Airport, the world's busiest for international travel, uh, is looking to roll out another edition from the realm of science fiction, an iris scanner that verifies one's identity and eliminates the need for any human interaction when entering and leaving the country. So instead of passports, you'll be able to scan your irises, iris eye, irises, iris, and go through the airport. I just fought off a yawn, but they ain't gonna be scanning my eyes. You don't need to see these eyes. It's like, look at me, I am the captain now. Now they ain't getting my eyeballs. Why, why do they need to do that? Just read my passport, it's fine. I'm right here, here's my documentation. All right guys, it's Ask Lunch Money Time. Hashtag Ask LM in the comments below. This one comes from Sabrina Kazan. Hi guys, my boyfriend and I watch you guys daily and see so much of a resemblance between your personalities relative to us. Sabrina, I am so sorry. Ugh, if you have to deal with your boyfriend who's acting like him. Mm. Um, so, they love lunch money. Her boyfriend doesn't know she's commenting, but if we see this, her name is Sabrina and his name is Sepper. Uh, I know you have both studied up on some of the most successful individuals. Who are your role models or your favorite Profiles. All right, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention one that I published today that I thought was super interesting. It's on Dolly Parton, a woman who she is a country singer, writer, producer, songwriter, uh, businesswoman. She is wildly underestimated, but she has done so much in her life. Um, she is 75 years old. She has a, a, a theme park. She's got numerous businesses. She owns real estate. She owns publishing rights to many of her songs that have blown up. Um, she created the Imagination Library, which donates free books to children all over the world because her dad couldn't read or write, so she wanted to help people. She is just a really, really cool person, and I think people underestimate her a lot, but she is actually a savage. I like the guy who made up the hot flaming Cheetos. Oh yeah, Robert, uh, no. Um, oh, we're gonna forget his name. But there's a guy, he created hot flaming Cheetos. I like him. He probably is my favorite person. Uh, but I need to say one thing real quick. Sabrina. His name is Richard Montanez. Yeah, Richard Montanez. Uh, Sabrina, listen, I appreciate you writing in the comment, but I just want you to know, you are very lucky. <laughs> you are very lucky. Well, I Sepper is the man. Like, he's kind, he's caring, he's funny, he's charismatic, he's rich. Like, you are so lucky, Sabrina, that he I would on a say daily that basis. He's really lucky to that have he, Sabrina. That he on a daily basis enjoys your company. So I appreciate you always being so kind to him, but you're very lucky. I just want you to know that. Go ahead. Alright. Moist counter. Moist. Moist. Today is day 20, I think. Man, it's been a while. Still got 70 more days to go. So he says, I have a ghost that lives in my apartment. So clearly he believes in ghosts. I'm fairly close to a funeral home, so I imagine the ghost wandered over from there. My roommates and I named him Charles. He's pretty chill. All he really does is knock stuff over in empty rooms or jiggle the locks. I have yet to have an encounter with a hostile ghost. They usually just seem to want attention. Yeah, they're just like little kids, you know? They'd be jiggling locks, they'd be knocking things down. What do you think? Moist. It sounds like your ghost is similar to my wife. <laughs> I'm going to knock your head down. <laughs> She'd be knocking things over, jiggling the locks. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Next question for Moist. What is your question? Moist, have you ever worn two different socks at the same time mm. and not realized mm. that you had two different socks on, but then realized that at some point during that day, tell me the story. Okay, we have a, a, a Moist twist. Ready? Lunch money viewer, who I personally really enjoy, her name is Gabriella. She goes, hashtag Ask LM sessions have become the new Tinder. So how old is Moist again? She's kidding. Just kidding. Oh wait, jokes aside, it's a nice touch to interact like this with your audience. Yo, Moist. Moist. <laughs> 
Gabrielle is awesome. Gabriella but I don't know. Ninja, I think is how you say it. Just get on the Google machine. My wife can help you. She is the no, greatest. I, we're not setting people ever. up with moist. Moist. Right now. Moist. We're not setting. Listen, you and I both know when the iron's hot, you strike. Just. There you go. Go in the comments. Check it I out. 20 feeling, hours ago it was posted. But I have a feeling Moist is in college. I don't know personally how old Gabriella is, but like... Just Why like, do you think he's in college? He said he was like finishing an exam or something. He's 20 years old. He's an expert. He's an expert. He might be teaching the college class. All, All right. right. See you guys. <laughs> bang, bang. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Lunch Money as much as we did. And don't forget... Lunch Money is now sponsored by BlockFi, so go check them out. There's a link in the description that you can click on. I'm an investor, a user, and a huge fan. What? You're a bigger fan of BlockFi than you are of me? BlockFi is my second favorite thing in the world behind Polina. <laughs> They've got three products. <laughs> they can give you a U.S. dollar loan. You can earn up to 8.6% interest on an interest-bearing account, or you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies on their crypto exchange. I personally use the interest-bearing account. There's not very many places where you'll find up to 8.6% interest on a deposit in an interest-bearing account. Go do your own research. There's risk associated, but 8.6% is pretty compelling. So click on the link in the description. Say thanks to the folks at BlockFi. Subscribe to our channel. Like the video. Annoy Polina in the comments. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And be kind to your friends.